Hello, it's Elzam Duncan here. Hello, everyone. So in today's video, it's going to be another vice beer. This time, it's going to be a Danish one. And to start off, I just want to say that some people commented on my post on Instagram and on Facebook that I didn't use the right, gla right glass for for vice beers. And uh, yes, I know it's just because I don't drink vice beer that often that I don't actually have the right glass. So um, I'm looking f looking for a uh, glass to suit vice beer, but uh, haven't gotten it yet. So today I'm going to be using the uh, Bordemioli Taster glass, which uh, which is a beer glass for craft beers, but it's not really a vice beer kind of glass. So, uh, but it's a beautiful glass for any craft beer to to be drinking from so i'm gonna be using that and yeah just a little uh side note um um anyway moving on as always uh, there's no sponsored content on this channel i bought this glass as you saw myself and also the beer i went to the store this afternoon to get the beer and um as i said it's a danish beer we're gonna be talking about that in a bit um yeah and everything in this video is just my opinion if you think something else then um that's just fine um i'm just telling it how i think it is and uh yeah that's it so let's get on to the uh to the to the beer it's a danish vice beer that's what it said right it says right here but in danish um yeah and it's from a uh brewery that's in an old monastery called Lugismose. Uh, yeah, that's an old monastery, very old uh, building in Denmark. And um, yeah, they turned that into a uh, a brewery. Of course they did. Of course they did. Um, very beautiful bottle. Very beautiful label. It's just like I like it. As you can see, earthly colors, a brown, brown bottle. So yeah, that's very beautiful. This is half a liter and it's 5% alcohol. So that's just normal. Nothing strong, nothing uh, very mild. And it only costs 12 Danish crowns, which is a about 1.5 English pounds or 2.5 American dollars, something like that. So very cheap for a craft beer and um yeah that's a little bit about this beer it it's an over i don't know how you say that in english but it's it's um it's made on a traditional english ale and then it's uh, over I don't know how to say that, but the yeast process has been overdone. That might explain what I mean. I don't know how to say it in English yet. But there's some fruitiness in this, the label set. There's some... Uh, a berry? I don't know how to say that in English either. Very unprepared, apparently. I don't, I'm don't. i not usually... And then green uh, strawberries as well. Green strawberries is, of course, just strawberries... Um, picked before they were ripe so yeah let's open this up and see what happens wow that was really on there some if you notice that some bottles bottle caps are really hard to get off and others are not very good smell actually i'm very looking forward to this and uh there's nothing in the bottom apparently I'm just trying to look up into the light and sometimes as I talked about yesterday there's something in the bottle of the beer there's a lot of times with the uh, vice beers so but not on this one so let's pour this beautiful bad boy up nice sound I like the bottles that's made so it sound like this That isn't beautiful, I don't know what is. That looks really, really good. Don't you think? Give it a smell. Wow. 
Wow, the Bali really, really comes out. And there's a lot of fruitiness, as the label said. Let me just check out what it's made of. It's made of two kinds of malts, and then wheat, vice, barley, and yeast, of course. Yeah. So, hmm. This might be just up my alley, except it might be too light. Smells really good, but it all, almost smells like an IPA, actually. But it really isn't. So, but cheers, let's taste it. Really refreshing, actually. Not as good as the one yesterday, in my opinion. It does have some of the bitterness that an IPA would have. But, yeah. It almost seems like a mix of an IPA and a, uh, and a vice beer. It has the freshness uh, of, an, of a vice beer and then it has the fruitiness and the bitterness of an IPA. It's kind of interesting actually. It's kind of interesting. It's a beautiful color and with the foam before that it was really, in my opinion, really beautiful. So, and this glass just, it's absolutely beautiful glass in my opinion. Amazing. yeah where should we put this the fruitiness isn't really there it's really light fruitiness just really subtle um almost nothing and if you're not used to drinking beer you won't be able to i think you won't be able to uh to distinguish those tastes but barley comes out a little bit of very small amount of fruitiness and then bitterness at the end yeah it's fresh but the bitterness kind of for me kind of ruin it ruins it it's not really if you watch my videos you know that i don't really like that ipa bitterness so yeah but 12 crowns that's absolutely nothing then compared to yesterday's beer adding a uh, that was 15 crowns, so that's cheap as well. And it was a lot better beer, in my opinion. So I will probably put this at taking the price into consideration 4.5 out of 10. So below average and below the two below the ones yesterday, which I put at 6.5, I guess, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Um, and this one is cheaper. I would go four if it wasn't this cheap, but when it is this cheap, it's 4.5. The beer is beautiful, and when you pour it into the glass, it um, it is a beautiful beer, um, but the taste kind of disappoints. At least it disappoints me. It's not really what I like. So um, bottle is good, but yeah, nothing. Nothing really amazing about this beer, except maybe the smell. Yeah, but there you have it. Four point five out of uh, ten for the Lukismose Weiss beer, the Danish Vildøl. Yeah, that's what it's called in Denmark. Vildøl. Yeah, that's it. So, um, if you like this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. And if you have ideas or you want to ask me anything or talk to me about anything, please leave a comment down below. And um, give this channel a subscription if you want to see more videos like this. And also I upload Battlefield 5 videos. And hopefully they will be coming out a lot more of, the, of those. 
the coming days. Uh, later today, I'm actually going home to a buddy of mine playing Battlefield 5. So maybe we can get some good gameplay to upload. And um, please go check out my Instagram account. It's Stonegun underscore. Check out the pictures and small uh, video f clips. Um, if you like that, subscribe there as well. It would help me a lot. It will help my Instagram account and this channel out a lot. Please, please subscribe and please like, comment, whatever you want to do. Ask me anything. I'll answer almost anything as long as it don't get too personal. Ask and I might... Nothing wrong with asking. So if you want to talk, if you want to do anything, just leave a comment. Please. Thank you for watching and um, cheers, guys. See you next time.